Hello and welcome to Viscogi Engine Tutorial. I'm Renault and today I'm going to talk to you about animations in the Corgi Engine. So uh, the Corgi Engine includes a lot of demo characters and they all come with a number of, of animations. Uh, so for example there's one for jumping, there's one for jetpacking, one for dashing and so on. Um, all the enemies are also animated. So really the, there's animations all around. and. Um, in the various demos you'll find some characters animated using sprite sheets, some using mechanim, uh, spine or you know 3D animation um, or maybe uh, FBX animated models. It's really up to you uh, to choose the animation method that fits your skills and needs but the engine um, you know should have you covered whatever method you decide on. Um, in this tutorial, I won't cover how to create your animations. Uh, Unity has a lot of um, dedicated tutorials about that, and depending on, on the method that you choose, a Spine for example, um, you'll find a lot of information about how to create animations using uh, the software you want. Um, but instead, I'll focus on the, the engine specifics and what you need to know to uh, implement your own animations. So um, maybe the, the first thing we need to uh, have a look at is the animation controller. So uh, I'm going to switch to the minimal level uh, because it features the, the rectangle character, which is kind of your go-to character if you want to have a look at how things work. So um, uh, I'm just going to drop one into the scene here. Uh, if I press play, you'll see that I should have two of these. Okay, so uh, they're really basic animations are set up but you know it's a rectangle um, and so uh, if I drag my animator into the scene uh, with my rectangle selected you'll see that um, this is the animator controller for my rectangle um, there are a bunch of examples of animator controllers into the Kogi engine but really this is the one that should act as a reference point if you are creating a new one um, so it contains all the possible uh, animation parameters it contains all uh, kind of animations of course you can uh, add animation parameters of course you can add more animations uh, you can also set it up differently for example here as you can see it's really sequential uh, because uh, in the Kogi engine you can only have you know one animation running at a time uh, so uh, when you when you move from walking into a uh, climbing move for example to dangling there are no specific transition but you could of course you know have a new animation here and then it moves to walk and then really it's up to you that's that's the way it's set up because i think it's the most simple one so if you're not familiar with uh, animator controllers in unity uh, well maybe first of all you should have a look at unity's tutorials about that they're really great uh, but basically here you have animation parameters they are usually booleans but they can also be floats and triggers and so on and they will get um, updated every frame so if i, I press play uh, i'll try and put everything on screen so um not, not really ideal maybe like that so i have my uh, rectangle character selected and as you can see it's uh, in an idle state here because I'm not moving. If I start moving, you see that it moves to uh, walk and it's now playing the walk animation. Uh, this is because uh, the walk animation, if I select it, uh, you'll see that it's, um, it will play the walk animation if the walking parameter is true. That's uh, what it says here. And right now my walk parameter is here and as you can see, uh, if I don't walk, it's it's false. If I start walking, it's true. Um, I also have a bunch of other parameters like alive and stuff. Um, let's see, maybe another one. So here I have a parameter for jumping. So if I jump, it's true. If I stop jumping, it's false. And uh, if you look here, you'll see that my jump and fall animation starts playing. When I jump, it stops when I don't jump. Um, so really that that's all there is uh, when you do an action you set a parameter to true or false you set a value and then you define conditions here 
uh, and you say okay when my dangling parameter is true I want to play the dangling animation um, for example uh, maybe I'm not sure if I have more complex transitions but you can uh, you could also say maybe uh, I want to crawl if crawling is true and um, and I'm alive and uh, my x speed is greater than than three. You know that that could be uh, a valid uh, condition. I'm just going to remove this before I forget. Um, so that that's it about the animator. So now you may ask how the Corgi engine updates uh, these parameters. So I'm, I'm going to make some some space here and uh, we're going to have a look at, for example, the um, uh, let's say the, the, the jump animation. So if I open the character jump ability, um, you'll see that uh, the engine already comes with a bunch of methods to accommodate for parameters, animation parameters and so on. Um, so it's quite a, quite a big one. Uh, so these are the two methods that will be of interest to us today. Um, initialize animator parameters it's a method that is called when you start your ability and it will register animator parameters so uh, here for example I say that this ability will make use of a parameter called jumping which is a boolean double jumping also a boolean hit the ground also a boolean and then at update I'm gonna give values uh, to these parameters so um, I'm using custom methods to do that. You, you can do it really any way you want. If you have another way to do it and it works for you, that's just fine. Uh, but I'm using here update animator bool. You get the same thing for floats, uh, ints, and so on. And uh, here, what it says, what it says is that it will update a parameter called jumping inside an animator reference here, and it will give it this value. So uh, here. If movement.currentState is equal to uh, jumping, then uh, jumping is true. And if that condition is false, of course, jumping will be false. So uh, it's really a, a, a one-line way to uh, update a parameter. Uh, and here we have references to uh, the um, a list of, of parameters that we have uh, registered here. So really, you can just add parameters to your uh, animator controller here. And then you can, of course, uh, just you know update them any way you want, like that. If you create a new ability, uh, usually you will start by uh, extending character ability, which is a, a base class, and you will see that uh, it comes with these methods: uh, register animator parameter here. Uh, it comes with um, uh, I lost it. Update animator here. So really, that's that's all there is uh, to these methods. All right, that, that's all the, the specifics of the animations in the Corgi engine. Um, of course, feel free to create new animations, add them to your animators, um, and add new, new parameters. Really, any uh, resources you'll find on animation online, uh, how to create one, how to import a sprite sheet, stuff like that, it will work in the Corgi engine. Uh, I know Unity does have on its, uh, I guess it's called Learn website, uh, some really good tutorials about that. Uh, I encourage you to go and watch them. And uh, I hope you learned something new today. And see you next time. Bye.